ओके गाइस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट जेनेटिक टूल्स व्हिच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके सो व्हाट इज जेनेटिक टूल्स मींस यू नो हाउ वी कैन एडिट आवर जीनोम दैट इज जेनेटिक टूल्स सो यू नो नॉर्मली द डीएनए विल गिव राइज टू आरएनए एंड आरएनए विल गिव राइज टू प्रोटीन्स ओके सो नाउ यू कैन डू टू थिंग्स व्हाट आर द टू थिंग्स यू कैन डू सो आई द यू कैन डायरेक्टली कट द डीएनए इटसेल्फ सो इफ यू कट द डीएनए इटसेल्फ दिस इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज knock out technology what is this called as knock out technology or you what you can do is either you cut the rna or you decrease the protein synthesis okay so whenever you change the rna expression this is called knock down technology so basically genes can be altered either you cut the dna or you alter the rna so knock out technology is permanent modification obviously if you change the dna then it is not going to revert isn't it so this is done by a molecule called as crispr whereas when you change the rna you have not cut the dna so this is a temporary modification and this is usually done by micro rnas okay so this is usually done by micro rna so micro rna usually do knock down technology crispr does knock out technology so let's understand what are they and how do they work first let's talk about knock out which is a temporary modification okay so let us see how does a knock down technology works see knock down technology usually works with the help of double stranded rna so this double stranded rna is usually a hairpin shaped hairpin looped rna so this rna is basically on pre micro rna which is formed in the nucleus and when it is exported out of the nucleus this is exported with the help of a molecule called expo5 now once this double stranded rna comes out into the cytoplasm this is immediately acted upon by a molecule called as dicer which breaks this double stranded into single stranded micro rna now this single stranded micro rna doesn't know that where i have to go what molecule i have to work on so it needs a car so its car is ribosome induced silencing complex okay so it sits in its car so what is the car ribosome induced silencing complex it sits in the car and it goes to the target site so now let's look at this okay so let's say this is the target rna so this is the target mrna it's coming let's say you have a sickle cell problem so patient is having sickle cell dna it is producing sickle cell rna and then sickle cells are coming in the blood and causing problem so what you can do you can cut the sickle cell rna itself if you cut the sickle cell rna and automatically sickle cells will not come in the blood then there will be no vasoclusive lysis no anemia so how can you do this so you can do this with the help of so you how you can do this so you can do this with the help of micro rna so you cut the rna so how will it happen so you have just now started from the nucleus double stranded micro rna has come up dicer has bre- broken this double stranded into single stranded it is sitting in its car called as risc complex now this risc complex will bring the mrna so can you see this so this pink one is your micro rna it's sitting in the car and coming now if now there are two things which can happen one this micro rna can be perfect match to the target mrna it could be perfect match so if it is perfect match it will cut this it will cut this mrna and sickle cell rna is gone so you imagine that this mrna is a sickle cell mrna and the sickle cell mrna is cut and it's gone so now if there is no sickle cell mrna there are no sickle cells in the peripheral blood and you cured of sickle cell disease second situation that can happen is that this micro rna is not perfect match to the target mrna so it's not a perfect match so when it's not a perfect match still it will sit in front of the ribosomes like a stone now ribosomes are coming to form proteins so it will say move move but this micro rna with its car will not move so what will happen the ribosomes will not be able to move forward and make the protein so can i say that there are two things which can happen due to this procedure either you have cut the mrna once you cut the mrna automatically there are no sickle cells second you have sit you have caused uh, translation repression because you're sitting in front of the ribosomes so proteins are not formed so can i say that micro rnas can have two effect one they can break the rna number two they can suppress the protein synthesis so the ultimate effect is that the rna is not able to make proteins so there is translation suppression or there is mrna breakdown the ultimate effect is the gene is silenced so you have sickle cell dna sickle cell dna is forming rna 
but RNA is not forming proteins. So your sickle cells are not coming in the peripheral blood you cured. Now the problem with this is that you will have to inject or you have this sickle cell, this micro RNA, RNA has to be supplied every day. Otherwise, what will happen? The DNA is there, it will form the RNA, RNA will form the protein. So, these synthetically formed micro RNAs are called as siRNA. So, they are small intervening RNAs, they are small interfering RNA or small intervening RNAs. They are the ones which are basically small interfering RNA or, uh, are basically the artificial given micro RNAs, which you should be very clear. So now, once you know this, so there are some questions that can be asked, okay. One, are microRNAs available in your body? Yes. So we have more than 6,000 microRNAs in our body, right. They are, the, they are responsible for controlling the gene expressions, okay. So that is why only 1.5% of your genes express, 98.5 doesn't, because these microRNAs control the gene expression. Second, can you have... Uh, mutations in the genes coding myRNA? Yes, dicer mutations are very common. So if you look at the dicer mutations, so dicer mutations are very, very common. So dicer mutations are commonly seen in unique pediatric tumor, blastomas. Remember, there'll be a lot of blastomas which will be coming here. So blastomas, okay, blastomas, which will be coming here. So we have pluropulmonary blastoma, which is again a pediatric tumor or pituitary blastoma, which are common. Apart from that, this is a very unique tumor and has been asked as a question so many times. This is ovarian sex called uh, Sertoli cell tumor. So ovarian Sertoli leading cell tumors are very classically associated with Sertoli cell, uh, with dicer mutations. So remember this point always. Apart from that, Wilms tumor, multinodular goiter can also occur. So these are the common cancers which can occur due to dicer mutations, which you should be very clear with. Okay. Apart from that, you have to remember. So I told you this is ovarian. Okay. Don't never forget that. Okay. Dicer. So who, uh, so who dices the subsy in your house? Okay. So it is ovary. Also females usually. So ovarian, so totally ledic cell tumor. Always remember that. Okay. Now, once you're clear with this, once you're very, very clear with this, now that is the function of knockdown technology. Okay. Now let's come to knockout technology. That is your CRISPR. So first thing you should know what is CRISPR. It is called as clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. So these CRISPR molecules are not found in humans. They are actually found in bacteria. Now if you look at the bacteria, no, he has a lot of problem. What is this? That all the time the bacteria puts its genome into the, the virus. The virus puts its genome into the bacteria. So viruses put their genome into the bacteria to make them bacteriophage, isn't it? So to prevent this, the bacterias have made this molecule called CRISPR, which changes into gRNA. So this gRNA is again a special RNA. Now it has a Superman car, not a simple car as RIC. This is a Superman car. You know Superman car? If you looked at the Superman car, it can do anything by itself. So this Superman car has a scissors in front. So it can go and directly cause double-stranded DNA breaks. So it breaks the DNA of the virus and the bacteria is cured of the virus. So that is how the bacteria is cured of virus with the help of CRISPR-Cas9 complex. Now, so humans were so excited to see this. Wow, what a beautiful thing. Let's take the gRNA from the bacteria. So what did humans do is they took the gRNA from the bacteria. When they took the gRNA from the bacteria, they made two regions out of it. One was called as constant region. The other was called as variable region. So constant region you can't change. It will work just like bacteria. That means it has to work. It has to bind with Cas9 and it will cause double standard breaks. But then we have a variant region. This variant region is the one which we introduced. So now we introduce this to add to add the new genes. Suppose I'm talking about sickle cell disease, okay? So if I'm talking about sickle cell disease, so if I'm talking about sickle cell disease, okay? So sickle cells have a sickle cell gene on the beta. Now you want to cut it, okay? So you used CRISPR to cut it. So immediately what will happen is that this molecule CRISPR 
this will be cut okay okay so this double stranded breaks has happened and the grna is now this double stranded dna breaks have occurred and the sickle gene is cut now is that enough for you no don't you want to introduce a normal beta gene yes don't you want this person to make a normal hemoglobin so for that we want to introduce the normal beta gene so this normal beta gene has to be incorporated so that is done by the variant region okay so now we add this donor dna which is attached to the variant region so look at this so as soon as you put the donor dna this donor dna will go and insert into the cut ends okay so these are the cut ends now in between the cut ends that donor dna will go and get incorporated so once this donor dna gets incorporated into the dna this is what is called as homologous dna recombination what is this called as homologous dna recombination now this donor dna becomes a part this donor dna becomes a part of your dna so this donor dna becomes a part of your dna and now this person will start making normal beta genes so he'll be perfectly normal now now sometimes what happens is suppose there was a news which was there long long back before covid that there uh, there was a chinese who did a mutation in the dna of a newborn child whose parents were infected by hiv so when he used crispr technology he cut the site where the hiv virus could bind so that's it and the child didn't get hiv so that if you do if you only cut the double stranded dna and you don't insert anything then also what will happen is these two ends they are non homologous to each other so they will just bind together this is what is called as non homologous end joining what is this called as non homologous end joining okay whereas when you incorporate the dna you have made the ends homologous so what is this called homologous dna recombination can i say if you add homologous dna then this is homologous dna recombination if you do not add homologous dna then this is non homologous end joining so we have non homologous end joining or we have homologous dna recombination so is everybody clear with this so these are the two type of joining that can happen here please remember so non homologous end joining defect is also seen in skid so this defect is also commonly seen in severe combined immunodeficiency okay so this is also common cause seen in severe combined combined immunodeficiency and this also has been asked as a question once okay so that should be very very clear so that is how the grna works okay so that is how the grna works it causes the double stranded breaks and then if you add the homologous dna it will cause homologous dna recombination if you don't add homologous dna it will be non homologous end joining so that's a classical pathway of your crispr that everybody has to be very clear with right so let's look at this question so gene silencing mean gene which would be expressed under normal circumstances will be switched off by the cell machinery which of the following cellular component is not involved in gene silencing so you know micro rna is a double stranded rna so that is involved in your uh, gene silencing it is a double stranded rna si rna is a synthetically made micro rna A ribosomal RNA is a single stranded RNA and it is not involved in gene silencing so that kind of questions can be asked and this is about gene editing which everybody should be very very clear so i hope everybody is clear with knock down and knock out technology and you will not do this wrong in your exams right guys mm -hmm.